So, you dress up as a woman. Yeah, what's wrong with that? No, it's... Um, Nothing. For art reasons, obviously. Uh, Sometimes you even do it on screen. I do, yeah, yeah, and I quite enjoy it, but not as much as it looks. Yeah. Um, it's an awful... I, I spend easily four to six hours working out what I'm going to wear. Um, and I always end up Make with the same red clothes, right? head scarf, uh, all my wife's makeup, and basically very comfortable shoes. That's why I'm never shot from the knees down. She doesn't mind you taking her makeup. Next question. Uh, okay, next question. She doesn't mind you taking her makeup? Absolutely not. I'm glad you asked me that. She kind of... Good. She, she, pro she, she promotes it. She thinks it's good because if, you know, I get to massage my female form, as it will, uh, I don't, well, not physically, but it's more, you know, whatever, it's more symbolic, really, you know, to do that in public is quite cathartic. It is. I'll look up that word later. Yeah, I was going to say, do you get that? Cats. Cats. Exactly. It's, cats. Yeah, it's quite cat-like. It's the end of July. Galway Film Flan is over. The World Cup is over. The heat wave continues on a bait. Here we are for no budget, and we are here with Pierce Halpin here tonight. Pierce, I have your bio here. Yeah. Um, go for so, because just to prove, we do do research here on the show. Yes. So we've yes. Yeah. Researched. Yeah. Go for it. So your bio says he was born. That's essentially it. And that's yeah. basically it. Yeah. I do believe since you were born that you did do other things like um, you were a songwriter. Yeah. Uh, you're a director, mm -hmm. um, writer, comedian. Yeah, and I believe you won an award for the best playwright in Mountjoy Prison. That's so correct. That's yeah. where we met, in fact. Yes, which was yeah. pretty buzzy. But completely innocent. Yes, totally innocent. That was a complete misunderstanding. We're one hundred percent innocent. Not in jail, though. We weren't. We, you know, it's uh, look. What happens in jails? Well, when there. you're closer, you know, when you're when you're thrown into an environment like that, exactly. I'm cool with that, as you can see, because it's um, you know, it's just you have to behave. Have to be cool. You have to, you know, you have to play the game. Why is that? You got to keep the lid on these places, you know. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. You felt like a man. That was just the way it worked. Anyway, um, it no, I, I, I was born, you're right. And those things I've done since then, but I uh, did a good bit of breathing first and uh, started to walk. And uh, I remember my first memory, you were probably interested in this, I know everyone else is. Everybody's that, uh, interested. I remember the, um, the actual tassels on the inside of, we can of, out of my, uh, you know. Um, so I just remember the tassels from the inside of my pram and I remember strangers looking in and no one believes me but it, like, it was literally like one and uh, that was my I earliest memory. Yeah. So that's, that's when I immediately got into acting, you know, pretending so, to like people looking at me in the pram. So tell us about music video because that is cool. Um, yeah, the new music video we've got coming out, well, I suppose a little bit of background on the music side of things was I've always played music um, and I got a record deal in 2012, 2013, 2013, mm. with a country label in Hamburg in Germany. This sounds like a spoof, but it's not. No, it's actually I saw true. That. And uh, horse lips. Uh, yeah. Involved in some way, right? Well, horse or lips. Two, two out of the four of them. You said. That's right. Uh, Eamon Carr and Jim Lockhart, which is literally 50 percent of horse lips, think I'm brilliant. Yeah. The other 50, I'm not sure. <laughs> but I do remember. The jury's out. I don't know. They, they just don't return my calls. But I remember. Um, Jim had me on uh, late night or late date. He was covering for whoever it was. He yeah, was see, RTA. he's doing that now. He yeah. used to produce the Dave Fanning show, right? That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And he got in touch with my PR guy, was Mr. Barry Hartigan, who will love a shout out because you know he's into that. Oh, sort always of good thing. to get a so, shout out. Yeah. some good guys. And uh, yeah, so Barry was doing press, and he gave it to Jim Lockhart and Eamon Carr, and Eamon Carr writes in the Herald, and we got like you know a glowing review, and it was great. It was all about uh, power pop, you know. And, Nice, you know, very nice things. So um, yeah, so 50% of horse lips think I'm great, the other two, I'm not sure. So yeah, we got a three album deal in uh, Hamburg. I want to say we, me, and uh, Good. yeah, I have three albums under my belt. Uh, didn't really make much money at it, um, but I still think they're great. But it's for the art, right? And I like them as well. Thank God, yeah. Yeah, so your latest music video now, when's mm. that out? That's out next week, right? That's out in a fortnight's time, yeah. that's. Uh, I collaborated with the great Tommy Moore now, who's playing with Mick Poirot. He's played played with everybody. Uh, Andrea Tunes plays drums, who was in Republic of Loose and has played with basically everybody. Kieran O'Malley. Uh, yes, yeah, so we got together. We recorded with uh, Connor Brady up in Camden Studios, actually not far from here. Yeah. And uh, it's a standalone track called Drown in the Sound.
It seems so safe on the shoreline, the safety of the day. With no idea how fragile this could all blow away. Your love received you from darkness, led your soul to the light. But lately there's been some static, lately things don't feel right. Reboot, restart, kick the system, come on now baby, just listen. The sounds are flooding your senses, reboot, restart, kick the system. Is this the Town, the TV show. Yes, I was going to get and, to that. Uh, there's a great friend of ours, Claire Milan's involved in that as well. She actually yeah, steals, hey, Claire. She actually steals the show so much that we had to go back yeah. and shoot it again. Yeah, very proud of her. I've said yeah. too much. Normanstown. Okay, this sounds great. I mean, I've seen the clip and it, it looks funny, it looks um, interesting, it looks hilarious, and it's got Claire in it. It's got everything going for it. So tell did us have, all. Did tell, have Claire in it? Did have Claire. Yeah. It. Okay. Yeah. Tell us all about it, as much as you can. It's. Um, it's a six-part series. Uh, I'm writing with Jen Hatton, who is uh, she's a phenomenon as far as I'm concerned. Um, I'm not going to get all whatever about. I'm not going to go all emotional, but um, no, I think she's brilliant. And I actually just out of the blue, which was really, really weird because it, I suppose the, the the old adage is not to meet your heroes and all that sort of thing. And I really yeah. was a big fan of Jen Hatton on 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 her Facebook videos and her Instagram and all that sort of stuff. Maybe you come in two days during midterm to get this project finished, maybe Tuesday, Wednesday. He says to me, I will, yeah. This is the way he said it to me, okay? I have to pay very close attention to this from now on because he did not show up on Tuesday, he did not show up on Wednesday. I said to one of the lecturers, I said, he told me he would be in. He said, I will, yeah. And she immediately got back to me and says, yeah, I'd love to see a script. So I sent her a script. She said, this is gas. I'm done in laughing and the whole lot. And it was literally done like in the space of two messages. And so now she's signed up to, well, me and her write it together. Brilliant. And yeah. uh, we're in Good the process of, yeah, things are taken. We, we kind of filmed the pilot about six months ago, five, six months ago. Mm. And we've released a couple of teaser trailers. But the new stuff is a very different animal. Well, it's a different animal. It's getting Darker. very gritty, yeah. Darker. Black and white. No, no, it's just, it's actually, yeah, it's really good. It's like shameless, kind of, with the odd Benny Hill moment. Good. Sounds good. And like, there's something Not great really. about, something great about those kind of locally based, I mean, it's based in North County Dublin, right? Fictitious town, yeah. Fictitious, yeah, so no one gets sued or anything, and, mm. you know. But we all love those sort of local based dramas, I mean. For sure, it's relatable know. comedy. That's, yeah. that's what it's all about. Relatable dramatic comedy, I think. Yeah. Relatable so. dramatic comedy you know it's it's got, I think it's going to create its own genre it's that good it will have all the ingredients and it has already I said it, you know from doing films and TV and stuff that if something jumps off the page and you're yeah. about wetting yourself laughing and then you're getting really serious and like you're kind of well we don't need to touch on this because we just talked about it. like it's kind of organic but at the same time it's yeah. it's really cool trying to impress each other because it brings the best out and all that sort of thing so yeah, yeah it's gonna be great it's gonna be really good yeah I'm looking forward to seeing that because it, it sounds brilliant and uh, it's very promising so, yeah, the comedy. So you're into comedy as well, which is great. And I've seen some of them. They're brilliant. Thanks very, very much. Good, very entertaining. Cheers. Do you want to talk about that? No, no. Fair enough. Okay. I, I mean, you do job. that good one yeah. about the North England guy who's running a cheat. You know, Nile, that, yeah. That Northern England accent is so reminiscent of all those cheesy shows and mm. sort of salesman You want me to do it, don't you? Yes, friends? I do want you to do it. Yeah. Go on. Well, I'll do it now in a minute. Will I? You know, what it's, you know what it feels like? It's exactly like, you know, at Christmas. You're on the spot. No, but you know at Christmas, man, like, you know, one Christy Moore song, you've been practicing for months or whatever, and then go, like, oh, and you'll sing, go, on, you'll sing. Yeah, That's go right. on, you'll do That's it. the last thing you want to do is sing in front of, because they're Wait not going to appreciate I'll, I'll, it. Wait a minute, I'll have to get this chord. To do that, you're going to end up absolutely, like, I'd say your development put back 20 years, yeah. and you're going to be like, oh terrible. God, I'm terrible, I can't sing Spansel Hill. So that's why I'm asking you now. Yes, exactly. So, hello, you know, and welcome to Get Shut. You know, today's show, we've got this great tit, Fergal. Is it Fergal? No, Fergus. And it, it goes is. on like that. And it's obviously not scripted. Well, my thing is, this isn't. But um, yeah, we kind of... Totally off script. We have that the crack. Totally natural. And then we have uh, Sissy, of course. I play Sissy, which is uh, yes, a Yes, uh, the, the woman, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I did notice that, that you dress up as a woman. Did you get that? It was quite, quite subtle, all right. This man mm. nearly represented us in Eurovision. This year, right? yeah, we got to the last five when we were featured on the Ryan Turbidy show. brilliant, man. Keith Hanley is a good friend of mine from Cork. He won the Voice of Ireland competition in 2011, I think. If it wasn't, don't shoot me, Keith. Could have been 2012. I think it was 2011. Anyway, he won, so very easy Googled. If but, you uh, do shoot him, then we'll all become more famous, you know? Mm. So... You know, maybe consider it. I'm not saying you should do it, but you know. Yeah, 
look, it'll just be, put it, it out there for the good of the show. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. cool. You know, Phil and Mondo go as well. That's yeah, the planning. Yeah. yeah, tell us about that. I'm working with a, a scriptwriter called Neve Gleason, who's who's pretty pretty cool. She's done a, an awful lot of work. Um, she's staff writer with Fair City. I don't think that's a secret. I think you're allowed to say that. If you're, it isn't now. Do you know what I mean? Um, you're a staff writer with so, Fair City. Uh, yeah. Unless we bleep it out. Yeah, no, no. I, she's, I think she'll be. She's terrific. Traffic. And uh, yeah, we're we're like yeah, we're plowing away. Uh, I can't go into too much detail because it's not I finished. I'm joking, of course. No, I it's go on. it's it's um, it's an extension of the we we got on short screen on RTE and the the two characters in that are two artistic zombies. One's a songwriter. Yes, that's when I was going to mention this cool photo which we're going to imaginary look at down here. Yeah, of you uh, in the middle there, right? No, that's me on the right. On the right, yeah. Yeah, uh, Joe Rooney. Yeah, I so think that's him on the left. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yes. Okay, cool. And that looks brilliant. So that's coming out in October, right? October 29th is part yeah. of the Halloween schedule on RTE, which is really good. And that was that kind of sparked the idea then to do the feature. But it's gas because we're two kind of middle-aged, uh, aging zombies, artistic zombies. I'm a songwriter. He wants to write, you know, paint still life and stuff, obviously, you know. If a zombie's not eating yeah. someone's head, it wants to paint. So, uh, so yes, that's what the movie is. Yeah. Instagram their dinner, presumably. Yeah, brains. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, yeah, that's what the what the what the film is going to be about, and we're uh, so yeah, looking for punishment. You're going to go for the feature, right? Yeah, you've yeah. done one. Yeah, yeah, and we were just discussing this off air about whether you should or should not do a feature. So we've not, yeah, which, I, I, which well, is a relief to be able to do something. I haven't done a one minute clip, but I find it intriguing that films are getting slow. Well, not very quickly shorter, aren't they? Like. You could get away with, I think, kind of some of those. I know what you did last summer could be like 75 minutes or something, or you know, yeah. and that's pushing it a bit. Because I remember the Beatles, uh, they were the ones that actually made what an album had to be. I think it had to be over 10 songs or something. Yeah. Before that, you could have and eight or whatever. They eleven spent or six months in the studio, which was kind of unheard of at the time. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they changed it all. Yeah. Totally, and totally but it, it ends up now that you're like in a situation where you've gone from 90 minutes or like the God or Once Upon a Time in America, which I think technically is like four hours long or something, four and a half hours long. Yeah. And then you've got a one minute, one minute movies like. Jeez, it cuts back in the catering anyway, I know that for a Made, fact. Yeah, it probably would. Yeah. Made one myself. In and fact, then 15 seconds. 15 moves. second ones, yeah. Which we have made as well as a group here in No Budget. Yeah, and uh, so it's amazing. I mean, where to next? The one second film. Still, I, I, still no, frame. No, no, no. I think, I think you're, you're stretching a little bit there. Definitely two. I, I two seconds? If you, yeah, if you go less until you lose the artistic I suppose one content. minute, one second for setup. And then one second for resolution. Yeah. That should be enough. Depending on the genre as well. We could do one right now. You could. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do one later. So, like, just to recap, okay, you, you write, you're a comedian. Do you do stand-up? No, no, no. Okay. No. You uh, were involved in the Eurovision. You um, you do music videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Directing them now. Yeah, the new one I directed. Yeah. yeah. So that is pretty multi-talented. I mean, yeah, geez, that yeah. is... And yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah. I, I've impressive. been busy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. don't give up the day job, kids. Yeah. Just become an accountant. Yeah. It's easier. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's easier than the poverty we have to go through. Mm. What's the, okay after all of that? After getting to the Eurovision, the, the the films, the music, everything else. What's the next? What's the next step? More. For Pierce? Um, more of the same. Uh, more. Yeah. I know the next thing. The, the the really big thing at the moment is Normanstown because Normanstown yeah, is yeah. the six part series. Oh so yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's going to be filmed fairly soon. Yeah. Um, the the buzz is great around it. We have mm. uh, Chris Newman. We have Amy Stewart who's doing the snapper in the gate at the moment. We have Jen Hatton, me, yeah. uh, and the list. We have Claire. We have um, yeah. We've got a, and a few other surprise guests. Colin Farrell looks interested. Um, so Brilliant. I'm joking, of course. In the no, lead no. role. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah. He won't dress up as a woman. But um, the buzz Colin, is. Colin, come uh, on. Yeah. So that's the next thing is to get that going. Well, as that said, sounds like yeah. a fantastic cast. Really it's a great, great cast, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Chris Newman particularly. It's like he's my Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, yeah. I hope he doesn't mind that. You know, <laughs> he's better looking than him. I'm but sure he'd be you know, it's uh, yeah. Again, very happy with my. You know, just, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, he's great in it. Yeah, he's really, really good because you see him. I don't know. Song for a Raggy Boy was his first film, and I was really like, right. he's like Christian Bale, but he was in Spielberg's uh, was Empire of the Sun. Remember, he was a kid, and mm. for me, it looks kind of really similar the way they've developed, which is really cool. Again, he's. I think he's a lot better actor. Yeah, He'd make yeah. a better Batman anyway, I know that. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> you know, it's just the way he talks as Batman really upset me. But <laughs> um, So, but yeah, it it's great brilliant. to have them on board. Yeah, they're deadly. And, like, what do you plan to do with it? Because it sounds like it's got a lot of potential. Where are you going to yeah. sell it? Where are you going to show it? What are you going to Well, do we're going to go through mutual agents. We're going to go down the route that basically whoever doesn't pick it up is mental. That's been fascinating. Really enjoyed that. Uh, 
that talk with Pierce. Thanks for coming in. My pleasure. Thanks for having me, Fergus. Watch out for this man's music video in two weeks' time. It should be good. Yeah. Sounds brilliant. It's going to be great. You're a great singer. We really enjoy the music. Drown in the sound. Watch out for it. Watch out for Normanstown. Thanks, Pierce. Thank you. Thank you.